As of late, vaccines and their inner workings have become quite the popular topic among many. These discussions have only grown in popularity with the recent COVID-19 epidemic, and with that, the reliability and effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccine has come into question. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of our presentation, as we all know, last spring, the world went into lockdown. We rapidly changed the ways in which we performed tasks. We shopped, chatted, worked, entertained ourselves, and learned almost entirely from the comfort of our homes. Online services saw massive growth during this period, leading to the success of services such as Zoom, Google Meets, and so on. But one area of industry saw unprecedented growth, online gaming and communication services oriented towards gamers, such as Discord and Skype. Those stuck at home sought video games as a way to meaningfully connect with friends virtually. Activision's Call of Duty series Respawn Entertainment's Apex Legends and Riot Games' Valorant are a few shining examples of games that fostered connection between people due to the teamwork and communication required. However, one game in particular we felt could offer something more personal. Minecraft. As silly as it is, this voxel-based sandbox could be used as a medium of communication, entertainment, and as we shall show in this video presentation, a way of educating people of COVID-19. To showcase Minecraft's interactive and building systems, we put together a scale model of John Glenn High School. Built completely by hand in Minecraft, not only that, but we put together a few simulations and experiences that may convince you on getting vaccinated for COVID-19. Vaccinating yourself for COVID-19 doesn't just help you out, but it also helps your friends and family, and all of society for that matter, reach a goal of herd immunity. Herd immunity is a term first coined in the 1930s, pertains to a group's collective immunity to a pathogen when a sufficient amount of said population becomes immune, so that the spread of said pathogen ceases. In Minecraft, characters called villagers can become infected by zombies. We will use this feature to showcase the spread of the coronavirus. Here we constructed a pyramid that shows the way coronavirus spreads through a population. The way down the pyramid represents the time and population gain of the virus. Allow us to start this visual. As you can see, all the villagers in the test became infected and turned into zombies. Or in other words, the entire population became infected with COVID-19. Now, we shall begin the same test, but this time we will vaccinate some of the villagers before their exposure to the virus. See that? A majority of the population was never infected as a result of some of the population being vaccinated and reaching herd immunity. This has been evident in other pathogens, such as measles, mumps, and polio. These diseases have been almost eradicated with the help of vaccines and herd immunity. If enough people get the COVID-19 vaccine, it will become obsolete in the U.S. Right now, the vaccines are only available for high-priority people and workers. So while waiting, make sure to keep wearing a mask and social distancing six feet apart.